will press down and this is how you're gonna wire all your LEDs. A couple joysticks. We got two USB encoder boards. We got two encoder boards, two USB. We've got LED lights. We've got two four-way. These are gonna be for our son our controllers here. Sanwa style controllers. Then we have all of our wires. And boy, do we have a lot of wires. So we are gonna have to individually put on each um, LED. So this is what we're working with. We got the joysticks, the encoders, the USB to encoders. We have the connectors to get, go to the buttons. We've got LEDs that go inside the LED holder. LED holder goes on top of the actual switching mechanism that registers into the USB. And then we have the actual buttons as well. So buttons hit the actuator. I have one set up here. Um, this one doesn't have a collar on it though. Let's put the collar on. So you go collar. You put the collar on, LEDs in there, red to red, match this up, clicks into place, twists into place, and then here you go. And now this button will press down and this is how you're gonna wire all your LEDs. So there's gonna be a lot of wiring to get this all together, but here's the unboxing. We got a total of, you have a total of eight buttons. So you have eight reds, eight blues, one blue, and one pink. Uh, joystick. Yes, this is a little messy, but it's because of the LEDs. The LEDs you need to run power and ground to each cable, and then you have the two cables here which run the, um, the actual control. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off really quick so you can see exactly how I wired it. So you can see on this kit here, it has three different prongs on the switch, these two black wires here. And uh, the bottom one is ground, the top one in the middle, it's actually the middle one is um, the positive. And then for the LED light, you have the yellow, which is positive on the right, and then the, the uh, negative on the, on the back. Now with the LED, it could go either way, depending on how you inserted in the LED into this, into this uh, adapter. So that could, you might wanna try, if your LED light is not working, try switching them. The other thing with the LED light is these typically are five or six volt, and they, they are not 12 volt, especially these cheaper ones. So be careful. The other thing you wanna be careful with is you can see I broke it off here. There's usually two of these little indentations here, one there and one on the other side. See, I already broke one off because they're just really easy to break off when you click these into place. So do be very careful. You can see there's like a little channel here. So you can see it and there's one on the other side too. And then uh, you just clip it into place and then you should be able to actually hear the clicking mechanism click when you click it. So um, do keep in mind that's how you do it on this one because there's the three. So negative on the bottom, uh, positive on the top. With the joystick, it's fairly simple. It's either one way or the other, and it only fits on one spot on the USB board there. USB to only fits in one spot. As far as where these wires go, go look online. There's a couple different configurations. I'll go ahead and try to post a few, but like the way I'm doing it right now with this one through six, and then start select is not actually the, the way a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it where like um, A is, is K3, and then B is K4, and then it goes back to K2, and it kind of jumps around. Um, but typically start and select are always gonna be there, and then there's some other configurations you could do. But uh, the main thing is that, and on this kit, the negative wire is gonna be closest to us right now, so to the bottom, and then the positive is closer to the inside of the board for this particular setup. So with that information, you should be able to get everything together. Just the joystick, make sure it's on the right prongs, and then making sure it, the right prongs go to the, there's only one way that it'll clip into the board. So as long as you do these prongs right, and then that's going to the negative, and then the other one's going to the positive, you are squared away. I did want to show you that to enable to check your controller, you gotta go into your control panel, just open up a new window, and then go into control, type control panel up here in Windows Explorer, and then go to uh, view devices and printer, and then within that, you should be able to see all your different devices connected to your computer. And here you go, generic USB joypad.
right click it and then go to game controller settings and then go to uh, advanced or I'm sorry properties and then here you should be able to see all your buttons you can now see all your buttons you should have none of the buttons lit up until you click them if you have them lit up then you're connected to the wrong cable but this is perfect I have one two three one two three four five six and select start up down left right so that's an easy way to test your controller and then it should work in retro pi as well if you're connecting this to a raspberry pi so this is the kit here i ordered as you can see it's very inexpensive um it is a little bit deceiving just so you know uh the sticks are not the clear bubbly um you get the same you get all this stuff you get the collars you get the usbs you get the encoders but the sticks themselves are the ones you see in this video the other thing is it does not give you the led wires you need to to power on the leds so i'll put a separate link for that but for the price i mean for a lit up led set another ten five to ten dollars for the for the cables that you need i mean for forty dollars a two-player led kit not too shabby not too shabby at all and it's not it's nothing to like you know get really disappointed about like it definitely it's a competitive capable thing so uh, if you're interested in this I'll put some links in the description um, overall I'm happy with it my biggest downside is a the false advertising on the joystick but it is super super cheap so it makes sense um, and then two that you didn't get the cables included to um, get those hooked up three is that the the actual you know buttons themselves and click them into place I broke a couple of those tabs off but I was looking at other designs online and that seems pretty typical as far as how these buttons work unless you get like zero delay or something like that so that didn't seem like it was really that big of a deal um, it does work with Raspberry Pi it does work on the PC so you can be sure that it does that um, overall I'm happy um, the oh the last thing was just the whole thing with the six volts um, I saw some kits with 12 I assumed it was 12 I burned out a couple of the bulbs because of that but I ordered new bulbs online I got a pack of like 10 for you know four dollars on eBay um, so they're very cheap to, to replace and uh, now I have it wired up to a 5.7 volt even though I believe they're only five but the 5.7 volt seems to be um, seems to be powering up just fine don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next one